Good evening. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Good evening. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Teach. Hello. Sure. Yes, hello. Teacher, hello. Uh, from class from yesterday is on YouTube. Teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Class, what happened? Yesterday I had problem. Uh -huh. I didn't stay in the class yesterday. Okay. Is the, is the class on YouTube? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Let me see, we have like, okay, people coming in now. Very good. Vladimir, yeah. Steve, Alejandro, Santos, Luisela. We have Steve, then we have Alejandro. All right. Okay, almost ready. Okay, good. good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Okay, don't forget to turn off the microphone. Microphone's mute, please. Otra vez, otra noche. Yes, I can. Right, one second. Let me see. Okay, good. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, good. Now we're going to get it started. We have the, um, the knowledge check, okay? Yesterday we stopped with the video that we had about question with WH questions. What are you going to do? This weekend, where are you going to go? Remember? Yes. Good evening. Hello. Good. Hello, Esther. How are you? Good okay. evening. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay, good. Then now, today, we're going to check a little bit about this. Uh, sentences that we have about the knowledge check, right? And for example, we have uh, Veronica Flores. Sí, teacher. Would you please read the instructions here in English? Complete. Okay. Okay. Instruction. Complete the conversation with the current for us uh, gonna be gonna gonna follow sample. Okay. Then we have the, the form of be going to or be gonna, right? To say be going to follow the example. And here we have one example. Nancy, Nancy Sanchez, can you please help me read A and B? How are they going to spend your summer vacation? Okay. My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Okay, good. Okay, uh, un detalle. No se preocupen si a veces dicen going to or gonna. Díganlo como se sientan cómodos, okay? Lo importante es que sepan que si ustedes se acostumbran a decir going to, pero si alguien les dice gonna, 
ok, no problem, ok, ustedes lo van a entender. Lo importante es que se comuniquen. Ahorita díganlo como se sientan más cómodos y a medida vayan practicando, van a ver que sale bien fácil el cola, ok? So don't worry about that. Good. Now we have, how are you going to spend, ok? How are, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Okay, so we have this one. And then we have conversation one. Okay, who are you? Okay, what would be the answer here? Mm -hmm. parents. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... going to invite. Going, I'm gonna invite. to invite. Okay. Perfect. The answer, I'm... To ask. I'm gonna ask. I'm going to ask. Okay, good. Then, conversation two. What are you gonna do? Going to do. Going to do. Going to do. Going to do. To do. To do. Okay. okay, for Halloween, right? And then, I don't know. I'm, gonna... I'm not going to do. Okay, I'm not gonna go. going to do, do anything do. special. Okay, I'm not. See, for example, that not is at the beginning, right? And they yeah. say, I'm not going to do anything, anything special. special. Okay? Anything special. Anything special. Conversation three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Parents going to celebrate. Uh huh. Are you going to celebrate? How are your parents going to celebrate? Celebrate. Okay, celebrate. Okay, celebrate. There. They're gonna go. Uh -huh, they're going to go. Okay, they're going to go to their neighbor's party, right? How about number four? How about number four? What is your sister? Going to do. Going to do. What is your sister going to do? Okay. And here we say her boyfriend going to take her out to dinner. Gonna take. Uh huh. Her boyfriend is going to. Take her out to dinner. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here. Okay, sometimes uh, remember that in this uh, on on this platform, sometimes uh, you have to write or people write in different forms, right? For example, I am using this one. Going to invite. Okay, so this one is similar to this. But if you put only capital letters, okay, only capital letters, solo mayúscula, no problem. Okay, this is only a small case, solo minúsculas, right? A small case going to is with capital letter on the mayúscula. And here you are using a combination, right? Capital small case, capital, small case, capital, small case. So the three form will be correct, okay? But if you change here, the form, okay? The form, not the meaning, okay? But the meaning is the same, going to invite, going to invite, and going to invite, okay? Then here, going to ask, going to ask, going to ask, and going to ask. Okay, going to do, going to do, going to do, going to do, no problem. Uh, not going to do, 
not going to do, not going to do. We have here going to celebrate, <coughs> going to celebrate, and going to celebrate. Then we have going to go, going to go, or going to go. Three possibilities. But if you see, it's on la, solo la forma, right? The form, not the meaning. No significado. Then uh, going to do, going to do, going to do, and is going to take, okay? Any of these three forms that you use will be okay. Okay? Cualquiera de esas tres formas, si lo escriben así, les va a salir correcto. Ya si le ponen otra cosita por ahí, entonces ya. Por ejemplo, le ponen, por ejemplo, uh, si aquí le agregamos is. Okay? Este ya is not correct. Okay? Este ya está mal. This is the correct one. Now, if we submit it here, you see? 33 out of 33. Everything is correct. Okay? Siempre pongan atención que si se les olvidó la G por escribir rápido o se les olvidó la E, aunque todo lo demás está bueno, por una letrita, se los va a marcar como mal, ¿verdad? Eso se puede dar. Entonces, puede que ustedes la estén va a hacer, pero es que sí está bien. Se puede hacer que en una letrita se hayan equivocado. ¿Ok? Creo que ya tuvieron todos una experiencia como esa, ¿verdad? En esta plataforma. ¿Ok? Así es que ya los motivos pues de que vayan al día con la plataforma, no se vayan quedando, si se van adelantando mejor. No sé si está, Saúl está acá, acá que me preguntó ayer. ¿Este era el ejercicio? ¿Está conectado Saúl? Sí, ¿verdad Saúl? Yes, oh, yes. yes teacher. Okay. ok, ¿cuál era el ejercicio? Eh, I, don't, I don't know, I am. Ok, aquí. Uh -huh. neg la negativa. La negativa. Oh, wow. Okay, good. All right. So then this is the correct one. Okay. okay. I am. I'm not gonna <coughs> do. I'm not going to do anything special. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay, people. Any questions? No. Okay. Now we're going to do the next. We're going to listen to the next uh, video and then. Uh, the... Yes, Veronica. Oh. Oh, Esther. Oh. No, Esther. 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 Esther is speaking. Okay, and Esther. I don't see you. Where do you go? Hi. 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 Se le oye cortado, este, no, no logro entenderle. O sea, si quiere, es... Tengo dificultades. Ajá. No sé por qué. El micrófono, o sea, pero el micrófono se le ve que lo tiene apagado. Ok. Ok. Teacher, I have a question. Ajá. Uh, why in the last question I can use? Mm -hmm. Why in the last question I can use bird to be or not? In uh, the last question. Here in the knowledge check. This one. Yes. What is your what? sister? In the answer. Uh, her boyfriend is. Going uh -huh. to take or going to take? Why I can use bear to be? Este es el verbo to be. Yes. ¿Por qué podemos usar el verbo to be y, o no? Porque vi que habían varias respuestas. Poderlo usar antes el is o. Ah, ok, o ok. No. Porque acá, por ejemplo, en la pregunta ya está. What is, your, what is your sister going to do? Aquí no aparece. Her boyfriend is going to take. Ok, por sí. ejemplo, acá en la, en esta, en la número 3, how are, ya está en la pregunta. How are your parents going to? Mm -hmm. Y aquí también en la respuesta ya aparece. They are. They are going to go. Aquí porque ya lo habían puesto. Entonces, por eso es que no, no, lo, okay. util, no lo utilizamos en la respuesta. 
Y acá en la en esta de acá solo pusieron hey, her boyfriend. Pero aquí lo hicieron. Aquí lo hacen con una intención de saber si usted sabe cuál utilizar. Porque boyfriend, uh -huh. si, usted, si, usted, si cambiamos boyfriend, ¿qué pronombre se utilizaría? Hey. El, el, Ajá. He. he, exacto. Entonces, si cambiamos esto, sería he is going to take. Uh -huh. Entonces, si alguien no sabe ese cambio, podría poner are or am. ¿Verdad? Entonces, por Pero eso. También se podía poner solo going to take. No, no, en este no. En este sí. Ah, es, es Ajá, es que esa era mi pregunta porque vi que uh -huh. en las respuestas. Les salió bueno. En las respuestas decía sí, que podríamos ponerle el o el te le mostrar respuestas y ya va a ver. Y vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Going to take. Yes, going me to salió take. bueno. Ah, pero en mayúsculas, ¿verdad? Sí, no. Pero aquí está. No, no, pero aquí está, mire. No. En minúsculas sí aparece Liz. No, pero no. A mí me salió going to take. Le salió going to take. Ah, porque está aquí. Pero Yo eso. Pero, en minúsculas. En minúsculas, going to take y me salió bien. Ok, pero está bueno que me lo digan porque sí es un error de la plataforma. Ahí es un error. De la plataforma, sí. Ajá. Es un errorcito ahí, pero no, o sea, no es. Pero es bueno que lo digan porque sí, la correcta es esta. Porque te, siempre tiene que ir el list. Okay. Es cuando eh, será, se creo yo que cuando es pregunta, eh, va, sí lo lleva, ¿verdad? Y lo lleva antes. El, sí, en, en este ejercicio. Cuando es respuesta, eh, es después. Uh -huh. En este ejercicio que lo han hecho, ajá, es así. Por ejemplo, si usted ve aquí, está antes del, del sujeto. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, what is your sister? What is she? Es para formular una pregunta. Ajá, Pero exacto. Eso va antes. Exacto. Y en la afirmativa, her boyfriend is. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Exactamente. Okay. Si lo llamamos en español, ¿cómo se le diría her boyfriend va, going ajá. to take sin el is? La va a llevar, ajá, sin el is. Es una interpretación. Su, su sí, novio, Liz, ajá, si no me, en la traducción. Si estoy, ajá, ajá. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo sonaría? Él, su, novio, su novio de ella, ajá. su novio, la va a llevar a cenar fuera. ¿Y la si va? lleva Liz? O sea, el... ¿Cómo? Digamos, si solo dijera, her boyfriend gonna take. En ah, español, es, ¿cómo? En inglés, en inglés está incorrecto. Es en su inglés. novio quien la va a llevar. Ajá. Entonces, en inglés estaría incorrecto si no utilizamos el list. Así es. Ok. Siempre hay que usarlo, ¿ok? Siempre hay que utilizarlo. Entonces, este, ¿cómo le digo? O sea, pudo haber escapado al que programó el ponerle el list en las otras. ¿no? Ya, ya, ya. Y por eso lo aceptó como correcto, pero lo correcto es... es. Y, y cuando se traduce, no se traduce el, el ser o estar, sino que el, el, going, el is going to... Se traduce como, por ejemplo, eh, va a, voy a, I am going to, voy a, I am going to go, voy a ir, ok. Siempre hacer voy a, ok. Es una interpretación, digamos. Ok. Good. Perfect. Ok, si tienen dudas así, son buenísimas para que las vayamos aclarando y no. Y aprendamos de la forma correcta, right? That's the... Right. Perfect, perfect. Okay, good. Then the other one that we have here is, by the end of this class, we will learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate a special occasion, okay? The special occasions, remember Father's Day, Mother's Day, uh, Nurse's Day, uh, Doctor's Day, your birthday, Christmas, okay? Now, listen to the pronunciation and pay attention to the vocabulary, okay, to talk about a special celebration, okay, it's called celebrate special occasions. Uh, first, let me, let me check the sound. The sound. In this classroom. Vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. 
take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Okay, before... Number one, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Okay, here we go again. Now, this is important, right? Mother's Day. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Uh -huh. Then we have Father's Day. This Father's one says, for example, says uh, graduate. Gra graduation. 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 Uh -huh. It's like graduate. education. Okay. Wedding. Wedding. Anniversary, right? Anniversary. 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 Yes. Then we have a send cards. Send cards. Now, uh, when when do we send cards? We send cards for graduation, for weddings, okay, for those special occasions, right? Okay. Then we have a give presents. Okay, when do we give presents? On graduation. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, graduation. Uh, then we have a uh, take pictures. Okay, uh, for in all the in all the special occasions, right? Yeah. Sing songs. Probably when we have a karaoke party, or when we have probably a birthday. Okay, for birthday. And what other party or celebration do we sing songs? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, religious religious celebrations, right? When you are in the church, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have some uh, depending on the religion, as the kind of uh, uh, songs or song. music you have people play. Dance, and birthday, mm -hmm. uh, birthdays, right? Or uh, Christmas parties in the in the company. Okay, eat cake. It's cake. Eat cake for birthdays, weddings. Mother's Day, graduations, graduations, Mother's Day, anniversaries. So cake, cake is for for many different occasions, right? A cake. Uh, have a party and, anyway. Uh -huh. Have a party. Graduation, wedding. For mm -hmm. uh, wedding, graduation, uh, probably a uh, Christmas, okay. Anniversaries mm -hmm. in some cases when the anniversary is 25, 50, 75 years, then there is a party, right? Uh, have a picnic, uh, probably in El Salvador, well, it's, not, it's, it's not very common, right? It's not very common, but it happens, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, eat a special food. Mother's Day. Uh -huh, Mother's Day. Uh, it's usually in El Salvador is in uh, when there is pay, right? Payday. Okay, payday. We have a special food, right? Payday. Yeah, sometimes yeah. People, ah, let's eat pizza. Okay, yes, or hamburgers or something different. At least one time a month, right? Because it's it's very expensive. Okay, good. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, now listen again to the pronunciation, okay? Remember, this is very important to, to practice pronunciation. And after that, let's see the exercise. Mother's Day. Graduation. Oh, Wedding. Anniversary. Graduation. Send cards. Graduation. Give presents. Graduation. Take pictures. Graduation. Sing songs. Dance, eat cake, have a party, cake. have a have picnic, a eat special food, 
Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary of holidays, graduation for my Okay, now this is, here we go again to, to emphasize and to reinforce. Okay, remember that here it says, I'm going to take pictures, right? But we're gonna use, he is going, okay, he's going to take pictures. Okay. When we say he's going to take pictures for for his 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 okay no my because then como voy cambiando el am for is el my for his okay his daughter daughter daughter's graduation. Okay. And here we have expression, right? So in this one, I'm talking about me. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. Again, this one is he is. So if you see, we need to use is going to. Now, question about this is what is the question form this is the well the affirmative the negative he is not okay going to take okay pictures uh -huh, for his daughter's uh -huh, for his story Graduate. Daughter's graduation. Okay, daughter's grad. Okay. And if we have a question, what is the question mm -hmm. for? The question what for? What is going to do? Just no question. Just no question. Únicamente se le va a agregar el, la negación. In the negative, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Here you can say, I am not. I am not going to take. Here he is not. Okay. Only the negative one. And in the question, is, is, he, uh -huh. is he going? Is he going to take picture? Pictures, uh huh. For his for his daughter. For, uh -huh. daughter. For his daughter's daughter's graduation. Graduation question mark. Question. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Porque estamos preguntando, is he gone? Y es la respuesta corta. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Porque si queremos, ustedes se puede dar la respuesta larga. Yes, he's going to take pictures for his daughter's graduation. Pero no es necesario, right? Mm -hmm. okay, yo, yes, he is. Si fuera negativo. Yes, he is. No. 
No, he's, he's no. No, he's not. No. Todo sería en negativo. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. Si lo hacemos con what, what is he? Esto ya es, what is he going to do? To do. Ajá, for his daughter. Graduation. Daughter's graduation. Ajá. Bye. Okay, what is he going to do for his daughter's graduation? Mm -hmm. The first answer. Ajá. Ajá, la respuesta aquí. Y la respuesta compa. Take. Esa sería la respuesta corta. Y si no, le damos a la respuesta. Y si no, vamos a la respuesta larga. He's going to take going to pictures, pictures for his daughter. For his daughter. Okay. Esas son las formas en que van a utilizar el going to. En una oración afirmativa, negativa, interrogativa y una informativa que se pide más información. What is he going to do? Esta es una interrogativa de sí o no. Yes, no question. ¿Ok? Yes. All right, good. Then, um, before. Okay, good. Now we're going to Here we go. Daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, good. Now here, always remember, like this one, Mother's Day, I'm going to take a picture for my Mother's Day, my graduation. I'm going to wear uh, formal clothes for my graduation anniversary. I'm going to do a picnic for my uh, for my anniversary for my parents' anniversary. Okay, this is very good, excellent. Okay, so this. Sentences, this is what you have to do. Look, this is, I will, uh, tell, lo voy a realmente a, a, a motivar a que si hagan este tipo de ejercicio que se aprende mucho, ok? Escribir las oraciones acá, aunque vayan con errorcitos, no importa, pero así es como uno va corrigiendo poco a poco, ok? So this is a good motivation to do it. Ocupen esta plataforma porque hay bastantes, eh, digamos, como ventajas y ejercicios de para practicar, entonces si se pueden adelantar no importa, ok, después si les van quedando dudas, como vamos a ir haciendo el barrido atrás con la clase ahí las vamos aclarando ok, ustedes pueden, si cometen errores aquí, don't worry, ok no se preocupen que para eso estamos acá, estamos aprendiendo, ok so eh, así que con toda libertad, la verdad, que escriban y, y después corregimos ok, don't worry about it Okay, good. So these are the special occasions. Okay, antes de pasar a esto, vamos a ir a los grupos. Okay, did you write the questions? Tienen preguntas? So what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Yes? Va, vamos a ir a practicar a los grupos. Preguntas con dónde vas a ir a comer mañana? Where are you going to go? Uh, what are you going to eat tomorrow? Donde comerá mañana? Uh, are you going to dance? What are you going to do? Okay. How much are you going to pay for for the new car okay. in them? Right. So we have uh, 26 people, and then I will be visiting your group. Okay. We have five. Six okay, here we go.
Okay. Okay, and still ready? Accept the invitation. Okay, there you go. Okay. Hi, Stanley. Okay. Did you get the invitation? Uh, uh, le llegó la invitación? Hi, Stanley. Yes, and step. Yeah. Okay. Y no, no, no llegó. No le he llegado. No. Está en el grupo seis. Búsquela ahí que si ya, ya la tiene. Solo tiene que darle clic. A aceptar invitación. Yes, sir. Did you get the invitation? Teacher, I'm sorry, estoy enfermo. Solo estoy escuchando. Y you are in? Okay. I'm ah, sorry, estoy enfermo. Ok. Eh, Ana, ¿con qué se ha conectado? Es que se le oye bien cortado. No sé si es el, el, el teléfono, el aparato o su conexión, pero no, no se le escucha. Se oye como, se oye bien cortada. ¿Usted escucha bien? Esther, ¿usted escucha bien? Hello. I am on the area in WhatsApp. Okay, okay. Okay, el teacher puedo preguntar si vamos bien. Este, okay. Estamos haciendo oraciones eh, hoy en tu, ¿verdad? Eh, respecto a, a los días eh, feriados. Festivos. Especiales, ajá, festivos. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, for example, uh, you can ask questions with uh, when are you going, for example, when are you going to, to go to Mexico? Uh, when are you going to celebrate your birthday? Uh, why are you going to celebrate uh, your birthday? You can use this kind of question, right? Why are you going to do? Todas están relacionadas a algo que se va a hacer en el futuro. Okay? ¿Por qué vas a hacer esto? ¿Cuánto, cuánto te va a costar esto? ¿Cómo vas a hacer esto? Okay? For example, uh, let's say, Yesenia, uh, are you going to travel to Panama this year? Um, no, I am to travel Italy. Okay, no, I'm going to travel to Italy. I'm going to travel to Italy. To mm -hmm. Italy. Okay. To then Italy. Okay. Why, the, the next question is, why are you going to travel to Italy? Because? Why are you going to travel to Italy? ¿Por qué va a ir ahí? Ajá. Uh, no sé, the, the past. Ajá. Ah, ok, ajá, entonces estamos hablando del futuro. Entonces, si usted me dice, va, pronto, ¿va a ir a Italia? Uh -huh. No, voy a ir a Italia. I'm going to go to Italy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo le pongo, Teacher. why are you going to go to Italy? Uh -huh. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. ¿Y cómo 
dice eh, que quiero ir a escalar una montaña o ir a una caminata? I want to. Quiero, I want to. I want to go. I want to climb. I want to, I want to, to, I want to climb. Yes, a mountain. I want to climb a mountain. This is querer. Querer, right? Ah, entonces si me pregunta que, qué voy a hacer, digamos, más adelante podría decir eso, que mm -hmm. I'm going to climb a mount, mountain. ¿Cómo se dice? A mountain. 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 Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Mountain. But that is, for example, what do you want to do? ¿Qué quiere hacer? What do you want to do? I want to climb a mountain. Oh. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when the quarantine is over? When the quarantine finishes? Finish. Then I am going to climb a mountain. A mountain. Yes. Okay. Yes. What are you going to do when when you are uh, when this when this pandemic finish, Alejandro? I'm going to the beach. Uh, okay, I am going to to go to the beach. I am going to go to I'm going to the, go to the beach. To the beach. That's correct. Okay. Good. Okay. Excellent. What else? Then this this is the kind of questions that you can ask. Pueden hacer preguntas con just no questions. Are you going to Are you going to study tomorrow? If you say yes, I am. Say, what are you going to study? Okay. For, uh, for example, Rina, are you going to are you going to have lunch tomorrow? ¿Cómo dijo? No le escuché. Are you going to have lunch tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to have lunch tomorrow. I'm okay. going to eat fish. Va, yo le voy a hacer la pregunta. Entonces, what are you going to eat? Ah, no, it's okay. okay. No, it's okay. I'm going to eat fish. Then, where, where are you going to eat fish? In my house. Because okay. uh -huh. I can't go out. Ajá, uh -huh. in my house because I can't go out. Yes, because I can't go out. Very good. Okay. Who, who is going to cook the fish? Me. Oh, oh, I. Uh -huh. I am. I am going to. I am going to yes. cook the fish. Uh -huh. Pero como estamos en inglés por mayo pasado, me myself or I myself will do it. Okay. Ah. I, I myself will do it. Yo mismo. Okay. Yo mismo. Okay. But sí, sí. questions. ¿Cómo dijo? ¿Quién no le escuché? Perdón. Uh, I I myself. I myself. I myself. I, I myself. Yo mismo. Yo mismo. With my own ah. hand, with my own hands. Okay. Ah. <laughs> All right. Good. Thank you. Okay. Continue practicing. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. All right. My questions. No doubt. Um, estamos haciendo pre estamos ah. haciendo preguntas con WH question and okay. using going to. Correct. Correct. Okay. okay. For example, Alan, Alan, are you going to have breakfast tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to breakfast tomorrow okay. early because okay. I'm I going to go out. What are you going to have for breakfast? What are you going to have for breakfast? I'm going to have for breakfast, eggs, beans. Okay. Ah, delicious breakfast. Typical breakfast, right? Typical. Yes, cheese, beans, eggs, coffee, okay, fried bananas, okay. Okay, good. And then where are you going to have breakfast? Where? Breakfast is in the kitchen. In the kitchen, very good. You're going to have uh, breakfast in the kitchen. Who is going to cook, Alan? Obviously, obviously I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Obviously, I'm going to prepare my own food. Okay, see? what, where, who, who's going to, then you can practice with these questions, okay? 
Okay. Okay. okay continue practicing. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. When are you going to go next? Tomorrow. Where are we going? Are we going tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Where are we going? We are we going? Are we going tomorrow? Mm. Donde vamos? Mañana. No, mañana, pero. ¿Cómo de nada? We are going to go tomorrow? We are we? We are gonna go Where tomorrow. are we going tomorrow? Where are we going to go tomorrow? Uh -huh. Where are we going to go tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Very good. Good question. Este, yo tengo problemas con este, con este, mm -hmm. con el going to. Okay. What's the problem? Eh, no, no lo logro, no lo logro meter en las preguntas. Okay. Veamos. Eh, Janet, are you going, are you going to have breakfast tomorrow? Yes. Yes? I take, yes, I, I am. take breakfast. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Now, what are you going to have for breakfast? What are you going to have for breakfast? ¿Qué es lo que tomo en el desayuno? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, va a comer? ¿Qué va a comer mañana? Right? What are you going to have for breakfast? What are you going to? ¿Qué va a? Okay, what are you going to have uh -huh. for breakfast tomorrow? Uh -huh. I'm going uh -huh. to breakfast. I'm going to? I'm going to breakfast. No, I'm not going to no. have. I'm going to have 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 mm -hmm. breakfast brave, brave no breakfast no no yeah what are you, i'm going to have beans ah, okay, okay, okay. Eggs, uh -huh. okay have have is the bear okay. have uh, beans egg mm -hmm. okay plant plant Okay, now, where are you going to have breakfast? Where? Where are you Where? going? Uh -huh. Are you having um, coffee and breakfast? Where? No, en la respuesta. Where are you going to have breakfast? I'm going to have breakfast in my house. I'm going to have breakfast uh, at Pollo, Pollo Champero, Pollo Campero. Right? <laughs> I'm going to have breakfast at Pizza Hut. Okay? Mm -hmm. or, or pizza Chosa in Spanish. Okay? Okay. And then, who is going to cook? Who okay. is going to cook? Uh -huh. Con quien cocino? So, who is going to cook? Quien va a cocinar? Ah, ah, Nancy? I'm going to cook. Okay. Nancy. Who are you going to cook with? ¿Con quién va a cocinar? I'm going to cook with my mother. Very good. Okay. You see? Ah, okay. There you okay. have who's going to cook and who's going to cook with, where, what, uh, when. Mm -hmm. April said, when are you going to cook? Uh, at 6 o'clock, at 5 o'clock, or for lunch at noon. Ahí pueden darse gusto con ese tipo de preguntas. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, gracias. Uh, and remember that this is always future. Okay? Future. Estamos hablando del futuro. ¿Qué va a ser mañana? ¿Qué va a ser pasado mañana? ¿Qué va a ser el otro mes? ¿Qué va a ser after class? Mm -hmm. What are you going to have after class? Okay? Okay. Good. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. Siete meses. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Estamos practicando, no, teacher. Estamos practicando. <laughs> okay. Estamos right. practicando. ¿Cómo vas a practicar? ¿Questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? Bien. Duda? Hemos hecho preguntas. Hemos hecho, formulado preguntas, teacher. Uh -huh. Hemos formulado preguntas con el... Going Hola. to. 
Mire, yo tengo una, un ejercicio que he estado haciendo con los otros grupos ahorita, que es para que vean la secuencia. Por ejemplo, sí. bueno, esa es la pregunta. Vamos a que, bueno, eh, Verónica, are you, are you going to have lunch tomorrow? Eh, yes. Ok, I, I am, I yes. am gonna... Yes, yes I am, on, perfect. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Now, what are you going to eat or what are you going to have for lunch? ¿Y qué voy a comer mañana en el almuerzo? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces digo, I eat. I am going to, I'm gonna. Ah, ah perdón, perdón. I go, I gonna, I gonna eat. Uh -huh. I, I, uh -huh. I am going to eat a, a salad. Ok, qué dietética, sí. right? Bien saludable. Healthy. Ay, te viera, gorda estoy. <risa> <risa> healthy, healthy, healthy. Se me vino, se me vino, teacher. <risa> se me vino a la mente la palabra. <risa> ok, good. Ajá, uh -huh, then, salad, what else? Una ensaladita, right? Good. Perfect. Okay. Uh -huh. But, what are you going to eat? Now, where? Where are you going to eat? Nuevamente, uh -huh. I, uh, I am going, uh -huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to eat in the restaurant. Perfect. Okay, wow. good. Yeah, you oh, see está that. Bueno, está okay. Now, who are you going to go with? Repeat, please. Who are you going to go with? ¿Con quién voy a ir? Mm -hmm. sí. Ah, ok. Entonces sería, uh, I am, I am gonna, uh, I, 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 I am gonna go, uh, my, my husband. With my husband. With my husband. With my husband. Ok, there you go. Okay. Yeah, así pueden ir haciendo las preguntas. Who? Ahora, how much, how much are you going to spend? ¿Cuánto va a gastar? How much are you going to spend? How long? I'm going to spend to twenty dollars. How long? How long are you going to be in the restaurant? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Ah, I'm mm -hmm. going to be two hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí pueden ir usando todas las preguntas con una conversación en un hilito. ¿Ok? Ok. All Thank right. You. You're welcome. Bye, teacher. Bye, see you later. Voy a usar el will y no el persona. Hello. Uh -huh. ni, los, ni los de Estados Unidos lo respetan. <laughs> Hello, Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Teacher. Ok, any questions? Bye. Ahí estábamos discutiendo del uso del will y el, y el gonna. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. The, what is the difference? Mm -hmm. El going to, o sea, mire, es like, like I said yesterday, right? Es para planes o algo que uno ya tiene previamente planificado o una predicción. Ok. Eh, y el will mm -hmm. es para cosas que uno, pues, tiene como mucha certeza o puede ser lo contrario, puede ser para aquello que uno lo tiene como un sueño o como una cosa que podría llegar a ser en el futuro. ¿no? Por ejemplo, uh, I am going to I am going to buy another house if, uh, if I win the lottery. Ok, I will buy a house if I win the lottery. So, es, no es muy certero ¿no? de que lo haga. I will buy a house entonces, ahí depende de, de cómo uno quiera expresar su idea, así va a usar el going to, ¿ok? Y, el, y lo más se usa es el, el, nosotros en español usamos más el voy a que el haré. Nosotros casi no usamos compraré, vestiré, usaré, llevaré, ¿ok? Y si lo usamos, lo usamos de una manera así como, como jocosa, ¿verdad? Bueno, mañana, eh, bueno, me retiraré en este momento, ya estoy cansado, pero no lo decimos como, bueno, es más común que digamos o más eh, frecuente decir, ya me voy. Ah, ya me voy, ya me voy, estoy cansado, me voy a acostar ya, me voy a ir a acostar ya. Ah, en vez de me iré, me iré o me retiraré hacia mis aposentos en este momento. O sea, no lo, 
Hasta le hacen bula, así como ah, para... Exacto, suena muy, for, suena muy formal, ¿verdad? Entonces, en español usamos más el going to. En, en inglés suena más fácil mm. decir, I'll go to bed, I will go to bed. Lo ocupan mucho, mucho, el go y el going to. I'll go to bed uh, right now. Okay? I, feel, I feel bad, I have a headache. I'll go to bed. Okay? I'll go rest for a, month, for a, for a couple of hours. Ahora descansaré por un par de horas. But in Spanish, we don't. Okay. Yeah. So okay. It's, 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 it's okay. Now we're gonna go back to the main sessions. Yo comiendo mi un dulce. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> por, la, por, lo que, por lo que veo pasaron a la cafetería. Ajá. <laughs> no compartan los dulces. Sí, antes de regresar. Dulce, compartan dulces. Uh, yes. Virtual candy. Virtual candy. I'm very happy. Okay, good. Okay, then uh, just as a lecture, a uh, wrap up, and como, ya digamos, como una resumen, recuerden que el ejercicio que les estuve diciendo a la mayoría de los grupos era de, de usar una secuencia de preguntas con las que podemos usar las WH questions, right? Practicando el going to. Entonces les preguntaba yo, are you going to have breakfast or are you going to have breakfast tomorrow? Are you going to have breakfast tomorrow? The answer is yes, I am, right? Entonces, ya eso me abre a mí para a, a, a hacer más preguntas, right? For example, what are you going to, what are you going to eat? Okay, then I'm going to, I'm going to have breakfast and then I'm going to eat eggs, beans, uh, pupusas, and, uh, cheese, coffee, or milk, okay? Then, where? Where are you going to eat the place? Oh, I am going to eat in my house. I am going to eat in a restaurant. I am going to eat at Pollo, at Pollo Campero, right? Or oh, whatever, right? And then, uh, if you're going to eat in your house, say, who is going to cook? Then say, well, I am going to cook. Uh, somebody told me, obviously, I am going to cook, right? Somebody said that. And then, uh, and the other question is, I'm going to go to a restaurant. How much are you going to spend? ¿Cuánto vas a gastar? How much are you going to spend? Okay, at the restaurant. Uh, I am going to spend $10. I'm going to spend $20. Okay? Uh, yes, Veronica. Una pregunta, vaya, este, como lo que yo entiendo es que después del cona, normalmente o siempre va a ir un verbo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, cuando nosotros respondemos a la pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Es, y, y de igual manera, siempre después del cona va a ir el verbo asociado a la pregunta. Uh -huh. O no necesariamente. No, no, siempre. Así como usted lo dijo primero. Por ejemplo, what are you going to eat tomorrow? I am gonna eat. Mm -hmm. What? In the restaurant. In the restaurant. What? The restaurant. What? Uh, a sandwich. A sandwich. Pupusas. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Pupusas. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Pupusas. 
then es va asociado a qué va a comer. What are you going to eat tomorrow? Yo pusería okay. sandrita, voy a ir. <laughs> ok. Ok. S send us a picture. Ahí nomás una foto. Ok. Se lo mando. Se lo mando. What are you going to eat? Va, ve ahí en el chat. Ahí está. What are you going to? Going to eat. Going, going to, eat. to eat. Pupusas. Pupusas. Ahora, una, esa es bien específica la pregunta. Una pregunta general, what are you going to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Are you going to eat tomorrow? No, what are you going Pan to, to do? To do. To do. Uh -huh. Pancake. I am going to go to diner. Uh -huh. ¿Qué va a hacer? Right? Es más general. Uh -huh. I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to... Ahí sí se fue. What are you going to... Are you going to drink in the restaurant? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, what are you going I to... Am, I am going to... I am going to dinner with my family. Ok. I'm going to have dinner with my family. Ok. Oh, like this one, what are you going to drink in the restaurant? Osmaro says, okay, I am going to drink water. I am going mm -hmm. to drink a beer, two beers. Okay, maybe three beers, okay? Then, uh, <laughs> yeah, it could be, could be five. No, no. <laughs> okay. and, then, and then you increase, increase, increase. Now. The last okay. Yes, and then the I'm going to... Teacher and one question. Uh-huh. Sorry, yes. Could you put uh, on the chat the, the link from class from yesterday? And the question is when when, when we use and box for mm -hmm. only the, the word box is very informal or is, is common to use? Which one? The word? Box for money, for example, or ten bucks or, uh, or oh, yes. dollar. Yes, it's informal. It's, informal. it's, it's very, very informal or just informal? No, it's, it's, it's very informal. No, okay. 10, bucks, 10 bucks son como, como 10 bolitas. Okay. <laughs> unas 10, okay. unas 10 tusas, unas 10 tusas. Like a leche. Yes. Like, like a canica. Like, like a slime, like yes. Like a canica. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, but, I mean, but it's common, but it's commonly used. Este, lo voy a poner en el otro chat porque aquí no, aquí no lo tengo a la mano ahorita. Pero ahí lo pongo en el, en el WhatsApp. Muy placer, muy amable. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, people, then, we're going to stop here today, but we have, nos reunimos mañana a la misma hora, tomorrow, okay? Porque it's okay. La otra semana, okay. la otra semana sí no va a haber clase, pero mañana Why? sí, porque es vacación. Ah, vacación. Es vacación de agosto. Ah, okay. pues sí. Entonces, podemos adelantar en la plataforma. Eso, eso es lo que le iba a decir, correcto. Entonces, mañana sí tenemos clases para reponer la de lunes. Y el otro uh -huh. no hay, pero sí, como se hace ahí a la, a la plataforma, yo voy a estar ingresando igual y, y voy a estar revisando cómo van a, el, el trabajo. Trabajen todos. O sea, que la otra semana, okay. ningún día vamos a tener clase, dicho. Ninguno, así. ninguno. ninguno. Ah, okay. ¿Regresamos cuándo? Al 10, agosto okay. 10. Okay. Uh -huh. ya, mañana lo voy a poner ahí para recordarles para que no se nos olvide. ¿Ok? Okay. 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 Thank you. Good Hello, good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye bye. Tomorrow bless you. Bless good you night. too. Bye bye.